I'll show you guys how to decorate a can. Um, a few months back, I decorated one, that, and I made it look like this. Um, I don't really use it anymore because now I hold my brushes in this. Um, but I thought I would show you guys how to make one of these. It's really, really cute and really easy. Um, this one's more plain with everything's plain except for a really decorative front. Um, some of these are kind of coming off. You can see like on this one it's kind of wobbly and all. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I got this really big one. Um, we used beans and I have this really big one. I got from Sam's if you guys want a really big one like this. You will need paper, measuring tape, nail file, hot glue gun, or you can even use really good sticky glue or like tacky glue or super glue or whatever. Um, a pencil. And you, will, you can also get some stuff to decorate it. I have pom-poms. I have, you could use markers. You can use beads. You can use crayons. Anything you want to decorate it, you can. You'll also need a cutter. Mine, I just have this one. And it's really good. You can measure it. Mm. Yeah, it's... Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take your measuring tape. And you want to measure how tall it is. Or the height of it. Um, and you kind of want to mark it as best as you can. Mine is almost 7 inches tall but I marked it right there. You guys probably can't see. But, oh. So I have that down. Um, and then I'm going to mark how the diameter of it, I guess you would say. So it is, I'm just going to round it. So you want to do it to the um, highest one. So if it's 19, make it 20. If it's 20, make it 21. Just to be safe and so it can wrap around. Okay, so mine is 20. Um, circumference is 20. So now I'm going to get some paper. Some pretty orangey yellow paper to decorate mine. Um, you want to see if it is the exact height or not. There's little ridges at the top and the bottom. I am not including that. I am going below and above it. So, um, yeah. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to measure it. Just kind of, you can connect it with tape or just lay them right next to each other. I'm just laying them right next to each other. So then you can measure how long. And then mark it with your pencil. Now you want to cut it. You want to make sure it fits good around it. Make sure there's no problems with it. Alright. Okay. So now you're going to take your glue. I am just following a seam here on this can. And I'm just going to fold the glue down. Alright, quickly 
take one of the pieces of paper and put it on top. Then you're going to glue on the rest of the paper. Now you have that done. Um, you can now decorate it. a picture at the end to show you guys what my finished product is. I hope you guys enjoy and try it out and let me know what you put in yours and how it looked. Thanks guys.